Hey there, thanks for tuning in to another episode of The Spiritual Scientist. I'm Victor. Thank you for tuning in and checking out my channel. Um, so, today we're going to talk to you, I'm going to talk to you about the uh, what's going on uh, right now. You know, I talked about in the Bible before how, I'm just going to use this as appropriate Bible verse about how uh, there would be uh, there's a, a stone of stumbling. So with when somebody does something that's bad, uh, you know, there might be something, like I said before in another video about uh, stumbling. So when you, if you're trying to do, you know, evil, uh, or you have that negative karma, negative things, bad things going on, um, you know, in your life, then you uh, you know, when you have all those hangups, you have those sins in you, um, and you're not right with God and everything, then what's going to happen is, let's say you go, and I'm not saying this is an every time, but let's say you go to a uh, checkout at the grocery store, you know, um, and then there's some one person that's just standing there and is like, oh, can I write you a check and then oh I don't have my checkbook out and I don't have this I don't have that and then you know another person who I'm saying is you know they're right with everything they're right with God they're right in our life and they're gonna breeze through um, when you go through the you know check out I'm just using this as an example it's a parable okay so when you go through uh, you know life one way uh, then you're gonna have everything's gonna go smooth, right? So what happens is when what uh, when a nation, you know, gets something wrong, what happens, you know? So things are gonna get snaggled, snarled. They're gonna get tied up. You know, things are gonna you're gonna have supply chain issues. Is my point. Um, you're gonna have things going on like right now we just had the uh now airlines so uh you know my wife said to me gee uh you know there's things with the airlines i'm trying to book a vacation next month um and there's things with the airlines so i took a look a lot of people are going away july 4th right uh, very popular time to take a flight so i read one article it says okay we have uh, bad weather. That's the reason there's snags and snarls and bad weather. So I'm like, oh, okay, bad weather. I look at, read another article. It says, we had a lot of airplane pilots retire. So airplane pilots are retiring. So I said, oh, okay. And then, then you read another thing. Well, it's because of COVID and the restrictions and a lot of people got fired so I'm like okay so every time you know you read an article it's another reason well it's supply chain issues well it's a price of gas well it's this well it's that these are just kind of excuses you know like I said before about these supply chain issues you know the real reason is uh, you know these stumblings are, are just happening it's not acting smooth it's not that I should say that, you know, God puts, you know, a path of stumbling in between. I'm saying when you're blessed, things happen smoother, okay? So it's the opposite. It's like when, you know, things are going well, you know, people always say that, I'm gonna have a bad day, I spilled my coffee, uh, things fell on the ground, my muffin fell on the ground, this happened, I'm having a bad day. So. Uh, you know, the United States and the world right now is having a bad day when all these kind of stumbling things are happening. I talked about before, well, what could be the case? What could be the reason why we're not being blessed anymore? I talked about sex trafficking and all this. Uh, still a thing going on, by the way. And, uh, you know, slavery is still a thing. Um, and... I'm just gonna say, you know, a lot of this homosexuality is going on. I know I said it, it's the elephant in the room, but you gotta look at it. Who's the in charge of the uh, transportation secretary? It's Pete Buttigieg, I believe. Now he's gay. Uh, I don't think he was gay before, but now he's gay anyway. Uh, 
So the, uh, the Pete Buttigieg is the, uh, now in charge of this, and he's doing a horrible job, by the way. I'm not just saying that because he's homosexual. I'm saying that because he's doing a horrible job. Um, he met with the uh, airline guys the other day, and I, I don't know. It just seems like he has no clue um, what's going on a lot of this with the administration. But what I'm saying is that in the Bible, it says that when you're off and you're, you know, you're screwed up, what people should be doing is they should be fasting and they should be getting right with God and asking for forgiveness. Um, so we really need to change from our sinful ways and get back to and and stop, you know, find these sex traffickers, stop them doing all this stuff and stop all these, uh, you know, um, promoting homosexuality. So, you know, it's just, it's out of control. Now they're going to have, um, in, in schools, they're going to be promoting it for teens, um, they're promoting, uh, you know, being being a homosexual. It's just crazy, and uh, you don't really have to be, quote unquote, the spiritual scientist to see all this going on. Um, it just, but it's just so obvious. Now, I did come out before with a video about, uh, you know, Mandela effect, and I was saying about Lady Gaga, and that was a real uh, thing. That uh, and that was a big prophecy, and then uh, you know the, the Hunger Games, and then now we're seeing it. So I did that over a year ago, and that came true. A lot, a lot, uh, like a lot of other things I said that came true. But and about the rice whale, and a lot of people comment. They said, "Well, it's not the rice whale anymore. Uh, it's not called that. Uh, it was R I C E whale, and I I documented it in my video." And then, um, you know, I, I, I haven't watched that video yet. I'd be curious to see if that video changed. But uh, now it's now it's not the rice whale. It's something else. Uh, so unless it changed back. But anyway, I digress. What I'm saying is that rice is the most staple, uh, most staple food what most people eat in the world. And being that that came up I said that's a sign and of course that was a sign uh, everything I'm saying is right uh, and you know I get censored and all this other stuff for what for what telling the truth um, you know so I just thought I'd come out and say this and that we have to turn from you know doing all these bad things um, I mean it's pretty obvious and that's pretty much most of the gist of this video what I want to talk about um, but yeah when you when you're when you're not right with uh, you know God and everything um, in the universe and in your life and everything and you're doing stuff that's bad you're gonna have uh, you're not gonna be blessed and when you're not blessed you know things are happen happening not so great that's why they say you know um, sin in you know we when I used to teach the Bible uh, I came up a lot these lessons about sin is missing the mark so when you're missing the mark in life you're uh, you're shooting that arrow and it's missing the bullseye it's missing the target right um, it's the same way when you're when you're trying to get uh, supply chain and you're missing it it's just not here in time. You're not getting that shipping in time. You're not getting it in time. Everything's being missed. It's very, very laid out. Um, very obvious, uh, this situation. So I'm trying to explain this so you you know people can understand that we're just, you know, as, an, as a nation, as a world, everybody's, you know, missing the mark. And, and when we get right, with everything's going to go smoother. Um, and that's why, you know, these tankers sank with all these, you know, cars on them. And we have, you know, uh, supply, chain, supply chain issues and uh, lockdowns and everything else. You know, uh, it, it's because of these, you know, things underlying it. Um, we're not being blessed. Um, anyway, I know that sounds crazy. Uh, for a lot of people to link one with the other 
but um, you know, if you think about our reality, uh, you know, the dimensions of third dimension, uh, I was speaking to a theoretical physicist, uh, actually Michio Kaku, personally, and he was saying that it hangs on other higher dimensions are like a lattice, we're hanging on it. So if we're hanging on those dimensions and those things are, are, you know, we're like a frame and those things, the frame around us is having a problem, these higher dimensions, then it's going to percolate on down. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments. I appreciate all of you. Like, subscribe, share. Have a great blessed day. Bye-bye.